I love this ninja. I love this version of ninja. Crappy technology. Mm. You go home to visit your parents for the holidays. Your father is reclined on a lazy boy watching a cable TV movie on his smart TV that's made by a brand you've never even heard of. And for some reason, even though the- Yo, for real! For real, dude. Yo, cause th here's the thing, cause Best Buy be selling these TVs for dirt cheap. And it's like, the quality isn't the greatest, but it's mad affordable. Like I see TVs now at Best Buy being like 50, 60 inches and they're only like four or $500. And I'm like, back in my time, I remember, yo chat, I will never forget the day. I feel like every time I think back on this purchase that I made as a kid, I feel dumb. I spent, I think $500 at a BJ's for a freaking 32 inch Sony Bravia. $500 for a 32 inch Sony Bravia. Scammed, yo, I was scammed out my ass because TVs now are like three, $400 and they're like 50, 60 inches. Yo, they're huge at BJ's, yup. Yup, at BJ's. You, you guys know which store I'm talking about. The movie is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The TV is blowing it out to be cinematically hot dog. Also, it looks like a soap opera running at Counter-Strike frame rate because of the motion smoothing option that's forced on by default. You look down and see two remotes sitting on the coffee table. Mm -hmm. One for the cable TV box molded by a brontosaurus during the Paleolithic cave time. Yo, I remember I told my dad to get rid of the cable box because Spectrum and these guys running these cable, nobody watches cable TV anymore. No one. And then Spectrum tries to be grimy and they try to charge you like absurd prices for having a cable box. $200 a month, $250 a month for a cable box? When all I gotta do is realistically probably like, you know, get a, get a Netflix subscription and probably get like another subscription and I'm paying $30 a month and I get to watch whatever I want. Paying for cable is ridiculous. Hell no, never again. Or just have the internet. Time error. Go on YouTube. One for the rogue. Get YouTube premium. I don't know. It's way cheaper than cable. Ooh, smart TV. Do you attempt to explain to your father how you could potentially fix all these issues using the two remotes, or do you choose to say nothing at all? Both of these options will end horribly. Yeah. Technology is incredible. We as humans, we can't, we don't even, we can't fathom what we would be without the technology to check our emails or watch our ASMR slime videos or listen to- I'm not gonna lie, I love those videos. There's a, there's someone on Instagram that I follow where like, yo, they, they take this slime and it's like the loudest ASMR. And this girl, she just starts squeezing it. And sometimes in the slime, there's like little pearls inside of it and like little stars. And all I hear is the popping of the slime. Yo, those are my favorite. You said soap cutting? I hate the soap cutting. I hate it. To our AI procedurally generated crypto podcast called Crypto Crunk. How to wear a Patagonia vest or die trying. But unfortunately, technology is not created equal. Hold on. I am freezing right now. Why? I am so cold. Jesus, I am so cold. Please, I hope my ears don't hurt. Let's go. For every beautifully engineered Game Boy Advance SP that still somehow turns on 20 years later, there's something much more dark and sinister lurking in the shadows. So much a game handheld. You know, some people <laughs> invent the telephone. Yo, and some I wonder. Please don't tell me anybody in this chat got scammed by Soldier Boy. Yo, that was the biggest scam. The Soldier Game Gear or whatever the hell, dude, hell no. Hell no. Yo, Soldier Boy literally went on timu.com, bought a bunch of handhelds for 15 cents, put his logo on them shits and then resold each one of them shits.
for a hundred a pop. Yo, nah. Timu is is literally a drop shipping store. Timu, the only reason why they're so successful is because people on that go on Timu, they just buy a bunch of their products at a low price and then they resell them on Amazon for a higher price so then they can make a profit. It's called drop shipping. Some people do it and they become successful. Hey, I mean, you could call it a scam, but it's a bit of a hustle. That's what everybody's been doing as of late. But yeah, it's a real job. There are some people that got like a lot of money because they do that. You say your sister does it? Does she make bank? I'm not even going to lie. I was thinking of getting into drop shipping a little bit because I'm like, yo. But the thing is, is that so much people are drop shipping now with Timu. It's like the the market is very saturated now so you have to be like you have to stand out like a sore thumb and you have to like be good at what you do in order to like actually make a bunch of money you said it was uh for a pet business supply and demand yeah money is money basically uh huh yeah other people invent a device that you plug into your computer that farts out mm -hmm. smells depending on what you're looking at that's real that was real it's called the digisense eye smell which is what someone asks their friends after a date did she did she sense what so it's like if i'm looking at flowers on my screen it's gonna like spray me yo that sounds like in the movie theaters remember 4d i remember i think i watched the the world of warcraft world of warcraft they had a movie and it was in four dimension I will never forget when they sprayed me with water and that shit scared the shit out of me. Like I was on a chair and then in the world of Warcraft, there was a segment where they went into a river. Yo, I'm like watching the movie, the chair is moving. I'm like, oh, cool. I was like, whoa, yo, I got sprayed with water. Oh, nah. I mean, it's a cool experience, but man, that thing <laughs> felt like I was in a roller coaster. I don't know, man. I smell. And sometimes companies put out faulty garbage just to try to make as much money as quickly as possible and don't really care and say, we, we do, do not, not care. care. You know, in order to get good laptops, maybe a couple of them got to blow up, you know? Yeah. In order to get good smartphones, maybe a couple of them got to blow up. You know, it's, it's, but even if you're everyday. Yo, I bet you that was the Samsung phone. Remember when that fiasco was happening? Yo, when the Samsung phones, I think it was like the Galaxy Note 4, maybe the 5, where them shits were blowing up. Smartphones, maybe a couple of them got to blow up. You know, it's, it's even if your everyday technology isn't blowing up, it can still kind of be a piece of shit. Smart TVs are super common and cheap now, which on the one hand is awesome. You know, everyone from Joe Schmo to Joe. Yo, I put my phone to charge and it was never charging. Hello? Bro, I put my phone to charge like an hour ago. Dude, now nah, what the hell's going on? Is my charger not working? No millionaire can afford to have access to thousands of hit prestige television series such as Joe Millionaire. What the hell is going on here? But the reason these smart TVs cranked out by brands you've never even heard of like Rogu or Hayabusa are so dirt cheap is because the processors they use are made out of dirt cups. You know, the child's dessert with pudding and gummy worms. That's what's powering your TV. If you've ever wondered why there's a 49 second input delay between hitting a button and something actually happening on the screen and why the on-screen keyboard feels like medieval ball torture, it's because the dirt cup is on a hamster wheel and he is losing his mind. Thank you, dirt cup. Please don't just stay alive until I finish succession. Also, smart TVs are so cheap because they sell a shit ton of ad space right on your home screen for cool stuff like Wendy's or Punked Season 2 presented by Verizon or a separate Roku streaming device to plug into your Roku TV and your Roku pajamas and your Roku house with your Roku spouse and a Roku blouse while your Roku cat named Cole Sprouse gets pounced by a Roku mouse who's gonna douse your house. I have a pretty nice ass TV. I know, YouTuber moment. This ball is full of nickels, <laughs> but I'll never tell you the code. It's an LG OLED and the picture is literally amazing. Amazing. like the color definition and clarity yes the lg oleds look so good every time i see them in best buy whew.
Like the colors are so vibrant. The reds are so reds. The blues are so blues. Oh, they're beautiful. It's it's awesome. But even this expensive ass TV comes preloaded with shit like true motion and sharpness cranked all the way up. And the UI and UX are still awful. And depending on your no, first of all, that's the UI. Look, I agree with that. Hold on. All the way up. And the U UI and UX are that's the UI for a Amazon Fire Stick. When I tell you, I fucking hate Amazon Fire Sticks. I, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Like, I feel like they run like shit all the time. Every time I use them, they're laggy. I don't know why they're laggy. Like, they only have one purpose, and they could barely even do their purpose right half the time. It's, I hate it. Still awful. And depending on your smart TV's interface, you might have to decrypt an entire ancient alien civilization's lore. It's always entry slow and broken, 100%. It's always laggy. Off. Okay, but here's a genius idea. Hear me out. What if we put a smart TV in your car. Infotainment systems, which infotainment being a combination of the words info and entertainment, of course, they're pretty great dia in theory. Great dia being a combination of the words great and DEA, -E Drug Enforcement Agency. Big ass touchscreen to display directions or music library or a movie about someone driving a car that you can watch while you're driving a car. And this is dumb. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, this guy get into an accident. <laughs> it's like, why would you put a TV in a car and then like give it all these features? He says, um, this is just for the kids in the car. Because I feel like, yo, this is so distracting. Like, don't they always tell you, hey, don't be on your phone when you're on the car. But we're going to give you a TV with Netflix in your car. Like, wait, what? Like, y'all literally making no sense. Don't be on your phone. But we're going to give you a TV with a bunch of apps. Like, huh? cause a horrible accident. But in practice, much like smart TVs, a lot of these infotainment systems have dirt cut brain and horrible input delay and faulty touch You said me watching They're your stream while driving? Don't. Essential Lucky Noah, to mess please, with no. crucial stuff like climate control. Which makes even trying to turn on the air conditioning whilst driving a crazy distraction and safety hazard because now you have to look at what you're doing instead of having the muscle memory of fit. Yo, the buttons are better. The buttons are better. I don't care. I still, yo. I literally drive like an old ass like Honda, bro. It got the buttons. It does its purpose. You look to the right. You see the buttons. You turn the knob. Turn the other thing. You're done. It's crazy that you got to go through five different screens just to turn on your air conditioner. Physical buttons or knobs to mess with. Back in my day, we had three knobs. One yep. for hot or cold. One for power level, ranging mm -hmm. from faint whisper to jet engine time machine. And one to decide how you want to get blasted. Mm -hmm. like, do you only want nipples or do you want feet play too? You can do both though. You can actually do both. I think even as touchscreens and cars slowly get better with stuff like Apple CarPlay, you should still always have actual physical buttons yes. for the crucial stuff. Yes. If only for the safety of yourself and others around you. And that is a safety jakey moment brought to you by Extreme Cliff Diving. Whoa. Everybody stop what you're doing. This guy owes me money and I'm pressing charges. Hi, I'm Jakey. Jakey and Ace Jakey. Attorney. Attorney that law. You want to know what's crappy technology? Monthly subscriptions that you didn't even realize you were still paying for. Well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is an all in one. I'm going to watch the ad just because it's the Ace Attorney music. That's the only reason why I'm watching this. Finance platform. You said I have this app. I, you know what's funny? I have it too. I actually use this app too. And it did find subscriptions that I did have. And I was like, wow, I forgot I had this. It, it does work. But that's only if you, like, want to just make sure you always, you know, check your balance and keep everything on point and stuff. It helps you save more and spend less. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. I use Rocket Money to find dumbass recurring charges and cancel subscriptions, all without ever having to speak to a single person on the phone, which is great because I am terrified of humans. Ah! I also use Rocket Money to help lower my bills by uploading a picture of them and tapping a single button, and Rocket Money negotiates my bills for me. Using Rocket Money to set budgets and monitor my spending every month, quarter, or year is great because while I am terrified of humans, I can't stop buying them gifts. And Rocket Money helps to let me know when I have gone way over my gift budget. To save more and spend less, 
Join the 3.4 million members using Rocket Money. We've got the hookup. Go to rocketmoney.com slash nakyjakey or click the link in the description to get started for free or unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash nakyjakey to get started for free. Get your money right. Okay, back to you, techie jackie. Embarrassing little brother moment over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? What's good with you guys? Now, I don't know about y'all, but I swear to God that everything in my life constantly... This guy uses the best music. The best music, bro. Like, he, he playing Zelda songs, Ace Attorney in the background. Bro, he knows how to keep my attention. He really needs an update. Phone, laptop, Windows 10, Adobe Premiere, Discord, Steam, Game Console, Game Console Games, Smart TV, Smart TV Apps, Every game launcher known to man is in a constant state of updating. Why the hell are you gonna sell a game on Steam if it's just gonna require me to sign into another launcher or stupid DRM anyways? What the fuck is the point of buying it on Steam? My girlfriend's cat's litter robot has Wi-Fi to get updates. Gobby's litter box must update to version firmware 1.87 so that her turds can voice chat with other cats' turds. Why is modern tech always trying to get rid of time-tested stuff like physical buttons? What the hell is wrong with buttons? Oh, you want to turn off your PS4? Gently place your finger on this Sony clitoris and wait for something to hope for. <laughs> That's kind of true. What's with all the button slander? I like buttons. Fully happened. Apple loves getting rid of not only buttons, but doing all sorts of dumb shit. That, yo, I saw that shit firsthand. Like, like you, you saw like the Apple mouse? Cause my sister, she uses like an iMac. Yo, I saw her charging the mouse and I was like, wait a minute, you gotta flip it upside down to charge it? I'm like, so what if the batteries die and you gotta keep using it? You can't use it, you gotta wait for it to charge. I'm like, that's crazy. Here are uh, buttons, okay? Here's a tiny touchscreen. We can do cool stuff like simulate buttons. Oh, you want standard handy ports on your MacBook Pro to do creative work like a SD card reader or an HDMI cable? Yeah, that's not, we lost, we don't make those anymore. Port machine broke. We'll Yo, bring back the auxiliary port. Don't get me wrong, Bluetooth is great and all, but the audio sounds way better when it's wired. It's statistically proven the audio sounds better when it's wired. Only got USB C. Guess you got an S on my B to Z. Well, they ditched the touch bar and brought back standard ports and MagSafe charging on the new MacBooks, and they're way better again. What the hell? But Microsoft, no. They've never made anything. Yes, yet. statistically, they're better. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Wrong word, right oh comment. Class, if you correct me one more time. Controversial take. I had a Zoom. And Yo! Yo, this was, my oh my God, bro. Zoom was my favorite. I, yo, I wanted a Zoom so bad as a kid. And then when they discontinued this shit, that broke my heart. That broke my heart. I love that. There's something about, oh my God. Controversial take. I had a Zoom. Zoom was so good. And I actually kind of liked it. Don't get me wrong. It did not feel cool to use compared to the iPod. Like I never let anyone see this, it, but. This was better than the iPod. This was better than the iPod. I'm going to stand on that hill and I'm going to die on it. This was better than the iPod. It got the job done. And you know, it came in cool colors that they specifically chose to design to market to kids, you know? like brown. <laughs> Internet Explorer, Clippy, Windows Vista, Bing. There's a lot of things Microsoft has made over the years that I would certainly deem crappy, but the launch Xbox 360 was practically made to kill itself. Everybody knows about the red. And this was, and this was the one time Xbox was above everything else. This was their time too. This was, this was when Xbox was thriving. Like, I remember in this time frame, if you had a PlayStation, motherfuckers was laughing at me. They'd be like, yo, we about to queue up in COD, party chat. Yo, what's your Xbox Live? I don't got an Xbox Live, I got a PlayStation. This motherfucker got Xbox. This motherfucker got Xbox. And then I'm like, at least my online is free. And they'd be like, did you motherfuckers get hacked last week? And I'm like, <sighs> he's right. He's fucking right, we did get hacked. Ring of death, but did you know that the failure rate of the original Xbox 360 is 54.2%? Yo, that's insane. 
The failure rate is a 50. Bro, it's more than a coin flip. AKA more than half. For comparison, the launch PS3's failure rate is 10.6%. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I still got my fat PS3. And literally when my P when my fat PS3 died, I just bought the PS4. Like it was so coincidentally weird. Like I remember coming into my house with my PS4 like ee, happy as hell. I played a little bit on my PS4. I'm like, oh, I'm so happy that I have this console. Then I try to play some games on my PS3 and then that yellow light of death popped up and I was like, it was a sad day, but it survived the time frame that it needed to survive though. And I was actually part of that percentage. I got the faded yellow light. Y'all the yellow I light. Played Uncharted 3 for 11 hours straight. But then I found out you could take it apart and actually put your mother. Yes, you could kind of fix it. You could take it apart and you got to put thermal paste on it. But sometimes it doesn't work because I tried that and when I was working at the time at Best Buy, us guys that were working in the Geek Squad, we even tried to fix it. It did work for a little bit, but then it did get the yellow light again. So at, at the end of the day, my shit died, died. So I was like, hey, it is what it is. I still have my my PS3 um to this day. I still got it. Motherboard in the oven and bake it because- Yeah, it was some weird thing that you had to do. They said you had to do the same thing with the Xbox 360. They said you had to put a towel over it and suffocate it like i remember there were youtube tutorials they were like hey um you want to fix uh the red light of death yo they put like eight blankets around it turned it on and suffocated it and then they were like all right take it off and it's gonna fix it i guess it re-solders some shit at a certain temperature i don't really know what happened in there it's above my pay grade but it yo worked. And that's how I play Matrix. GTA 5. And even if consoles don't break as much now, the controllers certainly will. Oh my god. I have two PS5 controllers. Both of them. The battery lifes on my shit are ass. You guys have seen it firsthand. Yo, Sony, what's going on with this? There's some games with no haptic feedback, and this shit got like two hours of battery life. This should be dying like crazy. Like, I don't understand. And mind you, I'm a Sony head. Sony, what's going on with these controllers? them have stick drift and just kind of do whatever oh he got stick drift never mind i don't got drift my battery life is just terrible whatever the hell they want eddie burback fellow uh yoga ball mustache gamer has three ps5 controllers all of his also have stick drift both of my nintendo switch joy cons have stick drift why oh, yeah. is the sensor bar required to boot into gamecube games on the wii when you're not even going to use the fucking wii mode did you know you can use a candle as a sensor bar because it's just another infrared source i learned that when i wanted to play double dash and my cousin's rabbit chewed the cable for my sensor bar and so every time i wanted to boot up a gamecube game i would just do a little seance and then play double dash with the demon king payment one of the worst controllers i have ever had the pleasure of using though were for the ouya or sorry, the Ouya. My brother got an Ouya after supporting the Kickstarter, and man, this thing brought a lot of joy into our home, but not for the reasons I think it intended. Ouya was like the smart TV of consoles, just a shitty little dirt cup in a plastic box. The controller, oh my God, not only did it just feel like you Bro, is this like Stadia? This is, this is looking a little bit like the Stadia, man. We're committing a sinful act like like just by holding it it was like a felony somehow but even on the slim chance it would actually connect with its horrible bluetooth the plastic face plates would just like decide to come off sometimes when we were all living in denver any weekend that we didn't have plans either my brother or his girlfriend would be like i mean there's an ouya in the garage we could, <laughs> you know we could watch season one of here bro season one of heroes i'm not gonna lie to y'all chat heroes was such a good show for when it came out at its time. Bro, I, I cried to this show a couple times. Like, I I was so heavily invested in Heroes. Yo, such a good show. Heroes and <laughs> play the Ouya. What else, what else? Uh, Twitter, that's crappy technology, uh, especially with everything going on right now, and especially the Twitter video player has always been a piece of shit. Yo, yo, to this day, to this day, day the twitter thing is still ass to this day at this point just burn it all though anything crypto or nft related that's crappy technology or at the very least please don't talk to me about it at a party technology multiplayer shooters that don't let you vote for the next map after a match oh, that's true. crappy technology reddit i refuse to download the app when i just want to read a quick how to true true i hate that like when you're on your browser and i just want to see something 
on and then it's like a reddit link and then they're like do you want to i don't want to download it i just want to see what's on this page and leave and then they kind of like force you like do you want to download Reddit? No! Two guide on a web browser, please stop. It's not ever gonna happen. Why the fuck do some planes have the controls for the TV on the armrest? Like my giant ass barely fits on these planes and now I have to worry about pausing my neighbor's viewing of flight every five seconds, which is a weird choice for a plane movie, by the way. And the air conditioning situation on planes, oh my God, dude, not trying to be dramatic, but I've been on several flights recently where I have been like ungodly levels of hot, like actually sweating my, like sweat pouring down, like it's disgusting. One time I asked the flight attendant, hey, uh, could you like turn up the AC or do something about it? We're all really hot back here. And they were like, oh, sorry, because you're in the middle of the plane, it's just an airflow thing. And if we turn up the AC first class, they're gonna get too cold. Sorry. Well, first class better put on a blanket because I am also a customer on this plane. So turn up the damn, you know, turn on the AC. Like. We are having this conversation in the sky right now and the yeah. guy next to me is watching flight on a plane and you're telling me that air conditioning isn't possible. I don't know who to blame for that, but that's crappy technology. What do you think is crappy technology? I'm genuinely curious to know. Did you think, was this video crappy technology? Did I edit it poorly? Did your phone fucking blow up while you were watching it? Let me know down in the trademark YouTube comments and if you wanna see more of me, listen to more of me talk, Check out Jaquan the Jequel or Nakey Jakey Instagram or Nakey Jakey Twitter if it doesn't fucking burn down. Where or, is the thing? Uh, Nake, actually, Nakey Jakey. Oh, I'm like looking. I'm looking for his face, bro. He's confusing me. I'm like looking for the subscription thing. He's right here. Damn. He on TikTok because I'm probably gonna start shit posting slime videos. But thanks for watching my video. Great video. Good video. You go home to- All right, chat, show love. Por favor, show love. Eef, e, 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 okay. Okay, good video. Give me one second, chat. Give me one second. Oh my gosh. Oh.